Hey there, I'm your host Lesawi, and in today's video, I will show you how to collect some items and have them be displayed on your screen. So if we go over to the first sphere over here, and if I press F, it will say one out of three collected, and after three seconds, it's going to disappear. So we can do that with the second sphere, and then of course with our third one. So normally, after collecting all the items, you'd have something like a game finish or quest completed, and you can even open doors with this and things like that. So with that said, let's begin. Open up your project and let's go to the content drawer. Now over here, I'll go to input, actions, and let's right click and create a new input action so we can pick up our items. And I'll simply call this pickup. So let's save this. And then in our IMC, let's create a new mapping and just call our action. So that's going to be pickup and then select whatever key you want. I'll have it on F. And once you're happy, save and exit. Next, let's go to our player and let's go to the game mode of our player. So this is going to be game mode Brady for me. And from event begin play, we will keep track of all of our actors or items rather. So let's get all actors of class. And here we would have our item and out of actors. Let's do a length, which will return all of our actors. And from here, do promote to variable. Call this something like remaining or whatever suits you and out of here let's do promote to variable once more and i'll call this total then let's connect all of these guys and from here let's do a print string but it's not necessary this is only for testing and i want to see that this is printing the total so to check that let's quickly create a new folder and this will simply be used to keep my widget on my item so blueprint class for the item, it'll be an actor, bp underscore item, I think is very descriptive. And inside of here, I don't have any static meshes, so I'm just going to use a sphere. Now, I'll have to call it item, and then for the scale, uh, point 0.3 should do very well, I think. And yeah, let's put that back into here. So just search for whatever you called your item. And now for magic to see if this works, if we put this guy here and let's say we have two, if we begin the game, we should get to print it. And yes, this works. So the next step would be to close the game mode. We don't want it anymore. And I want to create a widget. So let's call this WB for widget blueprint and I'll call it collected. And inside of here in the canvas panel or in the designer, I want to get a canvas panel and then let's get a text. So for the text, I missed to put it there. For the text, let's size to content and the text itself can say X out of Y or whatever you like. And th these just stand for the numbers. So that's fine. And the middle top should be good for the size 56. So you can see it. And can we center align it? Yes, we can. So then here in the text, create a binding and you would cast to your game mode or to the blueprint where you have the variables made. So that's game mode ready for me. And for this, it's going to be get game mode like so. Then let's get our remaining. So get remaining and get total like so. And of total, we want to subtract uh, one remaining. And then we would do a text to integer. And let's copy this guy, paste it, and also do it here. Out of this, you would do format text, break this chain. And in the box, let's type curly brackets, X, uh, capital X, why not? Curly brackets do a divide, do curly brackets, do a Y, end of curly brackets, do a space and say collected. And yeah, so this will go into X, this will go into Y, and the result will go to the return value. That's looking good. And one more thing, in the event graph, delete pre-construct, delete the event tick, and let's get a delay of three seconds, because that's how long I want this widget to appear on the screen once I've picked up an item. So uncompleted, we will do remove from parent. 
And with that said, um, I believe that's all good. So compile, save, and exit. Then inside of our item, select self, do add, and we want to add a collision. And since I'm using a sphere, a sphere collision, I think will be uh, sensible. So over here, let's do, what will I call this? Collision. Yes, that's correct. And for the sphere radius, um, let's give it something like 60. So we have some space to pick up our actor. And in the event graph, let's right click on collision, add event, add on component, begin overlap, add on component end overlap. So from this guy, we will cast to our guy, which is going to be Brady or whatever your character is. And copy that, paste it back. And then let's do enable input. And here let's do disable disable input. There we go. So um, then for the player controller, just get player controller, not coin controller. And then only then let's delete these three guys and let's get our input action that we created at the very beginning. So from started, let's cast again to our game mode or wherever you have your variables. Uh, object get game mode and we will be decrementing our remaining by one. So get remaining and do minus minus. Then from us game mode Brady once more set remaining and plug this there, this here and this here. So we are going to decrement by one and then we're going to set it. And over here, let's do create widget. And let's select our widget, which we called collected. Add to viewport. And then finally, let's get rid of our actor. So let's do destroy actor. And if I hadn't make any mistakes, if I didn't make any mistakes, this should work. Let's compile and see how we did. So if I hit play, I get two. If I pick this up, I get one out of two collected and it'll disappear after three seconds. And then we get two out of two collected. So now let's say you want to finish a quest, open a door or whatever it may be. So to do that, you do, you would have your input action or whatever your custom event. You would cast to game mode like we did here then you would get remaining and if this was equal equal or just simply equals if this was equal to zero you'd get a branch and if this is true you would have your open door your game finished and yeah essentially that so that will be i think it um thank you so much for watching guys if you liked the video leave a like if you didn't leave a dislike and as always happy developing